My name is Eric Wheatley with Automation Technology and today we're going to be obtaining dimensions off of a gate valve for uh, adaption to the ATI actuator. We're going to start with this gate valve right here and one of the first things we're going to do is remove the hardware of the intended bolt holes to be used for our adaption. In this particular case, the type of adaption that's going to be used is a final adaption plate with four standoff spacers that is going to adjoin to these holes where the hardware has been removed. To obtain the dimensions, you can either use a caliper or other measuring device. I'm going to start by obtaining the inside dimensions, hole to hole, like such, and then all, and then you will. get the dimension of the hole itself. And you will repeat that step this way on the mounting pattern also. This gate valve is in the open position and we have to obtain the open stem height starting from here to this surface, from this surface to this surface. The way we do that is we will normally take a scale and set it on the top surface take a measuring tape and run it down to the bonnet surface and take a measurement. Now we're going to obtain the closed stem height using the same process, measuring from one surface to the other. And the difference between the open stem height and the closed stem height is going to be your valve travel. Another dimension that we need is from the top of the stem to the top of the bonnet minus the hand wheel. An additional dimension that is needed are the dimensions of the valve stem in which you will use a thread gauge or other measuring device to obtain the pitch of the valve stem. We will need to know the OD of the valve stem using calipers or other measuring device. We're going to also need to know if it is a left hand or right hand thread. and a single or double lead start are the most common. The way to determine those two things is you can visually look at the valve stem and if the threading, as the threading goes down, if it's going in a left-hand manner, that is a left-hand thread. Going in a right-hand manner, that is a right hand thread. The way to determine how many starts the valve stem has is to look at the top and you can actually see how many threads are starting from the top. 